yeah it's not very cute it's old this is the original mailbox by the way old it's been painted the birds don't like it either yeah it's just not a good look you know as far as curb appeal goes so we're in the basement um got a mailbox so let's see um what we've got um as far as how it was shipped to us you know we ordered the whitehall mailbox it's not a it's not a cheap mailbox by any means um in fact it's pretty expensive um but when looking at other mailboxes i mean it's pretty clear why you know it's so expensive it's it's you know great um look it has a great um curb appeal to it um and um you know when you're when you're picking these things out with the wife they're gonna like those things so we bit the bullet we went and bought it um and this is how it came to us all right so my wife got a little bit excited so she went and ripped the box open before i can get to her um uh to tell her that i wanted to you know do a video about it um so she didn't get too far she just uh ripped the tape off <laughs> before i could stop her but um it comes it comes in these two boxes here um nothing fancy for the price point that it comes in or that we paid for it but um let's open it up let's see what we're getting um with this whitehall order all right guys so here we go let's go ahead and open this up so first thing you see in here some paperwork from whitehall mailbox uh limited lifetime warranty looks like they'll replace anything um that's damaged you know due to uh weather environmental hazards just toss that all right um and then you get um the side plate which is pretty awesome um it's pretty nice uh this is uh this is ours um and it's large so it goes it covers the side of the box um and it's heavy so um good quality at least you know all that money you're paying uh it's going to something um pretty heavy duty it should last the test of time uh let's see what else we got all right so here's the other one uh for the other side so you get one um street placard on for one side and one for the other side of the mailbox um and then also you get your packing slip um from uh from the manufacturer so all in all this was this weighed 40 pounds um so that's where your money's going at least at least it's not cheaply made um so we have another box on the inside of this larger box and then you get uh some care instructions how to take care of your mailbox i don't think i'm going to be doing anything special but um they provide it for you so all right so let's see the next box there's the next box um razor makes things a little bit easier See what we got. All right, look like it's insulated pretty well. Um, we did a pretty good job with that. It's almost like buying a TV. Um, we put a lot of care into um, the packaging. So try to get the big piece out. All right, so this looks like the main piece, the main part of the mailbox. Drop away so you can see that. Well, yeah, it's heavy. It's a heavy, uh, heavy piece here. Did you hear that? Listen to that. Wow. Definitely not your average big box store mailbox. I say that much. Um, yeah. 
things pretty clean. Um, clearly brand new. Um, wow. This is huge. It smells good. <laughs> it's got like a new car smell to it. Um, here you can see the front of it. Uh, see how deep it is on the inside. It's a large door. Uh, it goes in. Um, the side. Both the sides are identical, as you would imagine. The back is pretty plain. And then you got your flag here on this side. Uh, let everyone know you've got mail to get picked up. Um, this is nice. It's nice. Um, so, okay. So that's this piece of it. Let's get the other box. Let's see what's inside of that one. All right, so we're back. So here's box two of uh, two. And this is the longer box, so this is gonna be the, the base or the post of it. Um, it's pretty light compared to the top piece. Um, so let's see what's inside. I'm pretty surprised by how light it is actually. Doesn't give me that much confidence in it. All right. Check this out. All right, so these are um, some of the accent pieces um, that go along the underside of the um, of the box. So let's um, let's set that to the side. There should be two of those, maybe one. Uh, let's take out this piece. So we've got some interesting packaging. This just opened all the way up. Um, but there's two boxes um, labeled hardware. Two boxes labeled hardware. Um, these are what we're going to be needing to complete the installation. So what fell out of here was some gasket sealer, um, an Allen wrench, and some caps and screws. So here's a, here's a look at the gasket sealer. Um, it's just some gel that's going to go where the screws go. Here's the caps and the Allen wrench. And then you've got uh, a couple plastic caps. Um, and some large screws. I think these are gonna go into the wooden post because clearly it didn't come with one. Um, we'll, touch, we'll touch on that in a minute. Um, okay, so let's put this hardware back inside of this box. All right, second box of hardware. Let's see what's inside of this one. All right, so this is really not hardware. It's just another part of the mailbox or uh, of the post. This is the cap um, that's gonna go on the very top once we're all done. Um, okay, so that's it for that. Let's put that to the side. Um, okay. All right, so here's the other. Here's the other accent piece that I mentioned. All right, so there's two of these. Um, you're gonna need these. To the side. All right, and the last piece. The last piece is this post. Open this up. I mean, everything's individually wrapped and sealed, so you know I'm happy about that. Um, there's no. Scratches, no scratches, no blemishes. It all looks like it came straight from the factory floor. Um, it's clean. Um, I'm very happy with um, the way that it was shipped and delivered. Um, but this is the post, and this is essentially just a sleeve. It goes over. Um, it goes over the wooden post. So. You gotta go and buy your own. Uh, that's pretty disappointing. 
for the price point that uh, you have to pay for this. Um, I thought that, you know, when you when you ordered it, you were essentially getting everything you needed to um, replace your existing mailbox. So I thought I was going to be opening a couple of uh, boxes, maybe two, maybe even a third. Um, I was going to be able to, after some uh, quick uh, assembly, um, I, I absolutely did think I was going to have to put things together, but I didn't think I was going to have to go out and spend more money um, at Lowe's or the Home Depot um, to get the other pieces that are going to be needed to complete this job. So um, it's a little bit disappointing, um, especially at the price point. Um, I'm very happy with the unit itself. Um, disappointed that they didn't give you everything you needed to uh, to simply plug and play. Essentially, um, some easy assembly, a couple of steps, and then you you know you remove your old mailbox, and then you go about the business of installing this new one. All right, guys. So um, I got rid of the boxes, or at least I pushed them out a little bit further, so that we could just see the parts that are in play. The remaining pieces, such as the wooden post, um, and you know if you've never replace the mailbox before you're going to need to get um a, a, a pole digger you're going to need to get some levelers maybe a post uh, leveler um uh you're probably going to need um you know cement and some other things as well unless you have that at home um and you know if you're handy and you've got a couple of these things laying around um it might not be that big of a deal for you but uh for the average homeowner you probably don't have those things, so you're either hiring someone to do this for you now, uh, or you've got to make a trip to to Lowe's or Home Depot, and um, you've got to get those other pieces so that we can complete the job. At least that's what I'm going to have to do. Uh, I was not prepared to um, have to step out um, and do a couple of extra things before um, getting to the business of assembling this unit and then getting it replaced um, or replacing my old one. So a little bit more work to do. Uh, we've already got it. We've already paid the money. Let's just see it through to the end. All right, so let's take a trip. We're going to head to the store. I've got a Lowe's around the corner. Um, we're going to get the things we need to finish this job. And then time for some digging.